Chef Mark, you've got Italian on the menu today. Yeah, oh, I thought we were doing Russian with that accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are doing Italian. It's a chicken dish, chicken in voltini. Hopefully they say it right. I think that's the uh, right pronunciation. Well, basically, it's stuffed chicken. So they've got this beautiful rangatiki chicken, and the Italians know how to stuff chicken because look at these ingredients. We've got pancetta here, we've got uh, mozzarella, we've got basil. We're going to wrap it all up, tie it, roast it, and we've got a beautiful, creamy masala sauce to serve on top. It's going to be fantastic. Now it's over to Mel. And we are making a deli in this morning, Mark, with <laughs> involtini with prosciutto, also basil and a caper sauce. Sounds delicious. And it is going to be delicious, and it's going to be really simple and tasty. Nice. OK, because well, it sounds complicated. And today, well, of course, we will be using our favourite, rangatike chicken, corn-fed and free-range. Everyone wants to know where their food comes. You get rangatike, you know exactly what's going on there. So what are we starting off with? Right, so I've got some mozzarella there, so I'm just going to uh, just cut it up. Cool. And then we're going to get onto our chicken. OK, nice. OK, so we've got this beautiful breast. Yep. Just going to take the fillets off. Mm -hmm. Just give it a light trim. What are you going to do with the fillets? Uh, well, I mean, we can, we can add it. Yeah. Or if you want to keep them up, <coughs> you know, keep them and do something else with it. Right. You know, do a different, diff okay, different cool. dish. Nice. Right. So I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm just going to sort of butterfly it. OK, so this is so you can stuff it. Yeah. But... Going to do a bit of a stress relief. Oh, yeah. Make it a bit thinner. Okay. And we're going to bash it. Okay, nice. Okay, so you don't want to go hammer and tong with this because you don't want to, like, you know, destroy the whole chicken breast. So just carefully, if you want, you can try and roll it out a bit. It doesn't nice. really work, so it's good. Better to hit it. You know, back in the old days, back in the olden days, I used to do that with steak. Dad used to make us do that with steak. I don't know why. Because, you know, to nowadays... tenderise it. Was it? Was it? Yeah. But we don't bash it nowadays, do we? We like it. We no, like no. it not bashed. OK. OK, right, well, the chicken's getting a good hammering, yeah? Are you right? You're yeah, pulverising no, no, no. OK, it. we're ready. We're ready. Uh, right, okay. so you just flattened it out. So just making sure you've got it nice and even. Mm -hmm. So we've got our chicken here. Looks like a love heart. It is, it is. Right, and then uh, another bit of uh, greaseproof paper here. Yes. And then we get our prosciutto. OK, cool. And then we're going to lay it out, OK? I worked out what involtini means. Oh, really? Yeah, it means wrapped. That's oh, what it really? does. It means wrapped, and that's what we're going to do. It's yeah. like on the picture there. Actually, yes, you're right. A chicken wrapped. Like catchphrase, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Say what you see. Say what you see. Right, so we've got a, we've got a layer of our um, uh, yeah. pancetta there. Mm -hmm. We're going to lay the chicken on. OK, oh, well, this is looking a lot more complicated okay. than I thought. No, 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 it's not. It's not. And then we're going to put our cheese in the middle. So yes. this is going to be the centre. So when we cook it, um, obviously you want to cook the chicken through. But then in the centre, it's going to be nice and, uh, you know, melted and oozy. Yeah. And then we want some basil as well. So some fresh basil, you know, beautiful pancetta, basil, Italian cooking works yeah. really well. Brilliant. So don't be shy with that. Oh, it's looking really good. Is this mozzarella? Just going to lightly sure? season the chicken breast. Just looks like cheese. Yeah. Oh, it's mozzarella, is it? Mm, yeah, well, it's mozzarella. <laughs> and some pepper as well. Get some pepper in there. Right, and then we're going to wrap it up. So just going to do a light little fold with the chicken. And as you come in around, bring up the pancetta as well. You are right there? Well, there's maybe a little bit too much cheese in there. Oh, you can never have too I mean, much cheese. Well, yeah, I was going to say, you <laughs> can never have too much cheese. And then sort of roll it around, OK? okay. So you've basically got the chicken, well, you've got the cheese inside the chicken, and then it's wrapped in the prosciutto. Well, there you go. There's your involtini, your little package. And there you go. And then carefully you can fry this. So you can get a cocktail stick and you can yep. just skewer them in if you want. Or if you want to be really chefy, we've got some string here, oh. and then we're just going to lightly tie this. Right, look like a pro. Use some string. Yeah. So, so if you're using string, it's good to just lay it on your surface, carefully lift it up, and then you can pop it down, and then you can just, you know, you don't want to go, you don't want to go too, um, right, too tight because you'll go through it. You know, you just want to hold it on there. Okay. And just remember, like when you do the. <laughs> to the string, yes. just remember how many sort of rolls of string you use because you want to take them off. You right. don't want to eat the string, you've got to remove that. There's nothing worse right, than Right, and like you've tied them like shoelaces. So that yeah, but I'm going to trim, to trim it off. them off. It's right. all about presentation, Mike. Yeah, OK. No, no, that's nice. Right, and then we've got, uh, we've got a pan on there. Yes. So just nice medium heat. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pop it in the pan. Um, <laughs> it's probably not a good idea to do it like shoelaces because <laughs> it's a bit... Uh, it looks pretty, though. Anyway, so we've got that. So pan over a medium heat, a little bit of oil in there. Yes. And then just carefully, we just want to brown this. 
Okay, okay, so we're not cooking the whole thing in no, the pan. No, no, we're, we're not going to cook the whole thing. We're okay. just going to brown it. So a nice little bit of colour. It won't take long because it's a, a dried cure product. Right. The crisper you get it, the more salty it's going to be. But Brilliant. we do want a little bit of crisp on there. So just, you know, keep an eye on it, check it. A little bit of colour all the way around. Pop it on a tray in the hot oven, about 180 degrees for about sort of eight to ten minutes until it's cooked. Let it rest, slice it, it's going to be great. We'll make the sauce when we come back. OK, brilliant. So I'll tell you what, if you do this at home, make sure you put it on Facebook. You can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. We need to finish up the sauce for the involtini. So what do we need to do, Mark? You've right, got so that going. Look, it looks incredible. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you that now. So that's, that's the colour what we're after. Yeah. So it's just starting to brown. You don't want to over-brown it. No. Um, so that's ready to go in the oven. Now you're going to make another one. Oh, well, I thought, because there's a lot of there's a lot of people in the audience today, so we're all going to want to try it, so I'll make another one. <laughs> yeah. so I'll keep right. bashing and you make the sauce. Yeah, yeah. So all we want to do now is just uh, a little bit of onion, just dice it up, and some garlic, and then we're going to sweat that down just to bring out the sweetness, so no colour. We'll just get the sweetness for the sauce. And then we're going to put some masala in it as well. So masala is like a, a fortified sort of sweet wine. Right. Um, if you haven't got masala, you can use sherry. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. You, know, you want that sort of nice sort of uh, deep, deep sweetness to the sauce. Mm -hmm. So that goes in there. What now? Do you remember what to do now? Cheese. Yeah, yeah, cheese. A little bit of salt and pepper. Right. And you've got some cheese in there. Cool. And then uh, and basil. Don't forget the basil. Okay. And then you've got to wrap it and tie it. Okay. Just like a shoelace. Is that all right? Yeah, salt yeah, that's good. So garlic's in there, onions and garlic's in there, so just sweat that down, nice medium heat. And then we've got some, we've got the um, masala there, I've got a little bit of chicken stock, we're going to put that in together, reduce it down, and we're going to finish it with some green peppercorns, some capers, and we're going to get the creaminess some, from some creme fraiche. Okay, so this is a good time to put the masala in. So always be careful when you put um, alcohol. If you're cooking on gas and you're putting alcohol on there, yeah, because it will flame. It does that. I meant to do that. Right, so that goes down. So the alcohol's burnt off. I'm going to put the chicken stock in now, and we want to reduce that down on a high heat. So we're going to reduce that down about half, and then we're going to pop our, um, our creme fraiche in there, and we'll finish it with our flavours. How's it going? Oh, I'm a bit slow. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeding a family. I, did, <laughs> I need a couple of days, I think. OK. Um, but I'm, I'm doing the right order, aren't I? So now yeah, put no, your so prosciutto good. out. So you got, have you got some pepper on there? Yep, salt yep. and pepper. Yep. Beautiful. Right, so then lay your prosciutto out. So just make sure you're overlapping. OK. So you haven't got any holes in there. OK, I see. Right. That's it. So a little bit of creme fraiche goes in here now. That's just going to melt down and start making this sauce nice and creamy. It's fidgety, this stuff, isn't it? OK. <laughs> was it just me? <laughs> Maybe just me. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. OK, so uh, that goes in there like that. Yeah, that goes in there like that. And then now you can start wrapping the whole thing up. OK. Yep. OK, rightio. OK. Oh, yeah, there you go. Done. So yeah, perfect. Gonna... Look at that. Cut a, Yay! Put a little bit of string okay, and then we, cool. can, uh, we can wrap it up. And then we've got the pan on there, so we'll just get some nice colour. We'll pop them both in. Uh, and then about eight to ten minutes in the oven, make sure you let it rest, and then we'll slice it and serve it with this sauce. So that's just going to come down a little bit more, just so you get that sauce consistency. And that is... So when people say sauce consistency... How long, chef? <laughs> <laughs> when people say sauce consistency, it just means it's sort of, like, quite thick. It's coating the back right. of the spoon. No, I'm, what I'm trying to do is just trying to coordinate the tying so I don't lose everything. It's quite complicated, actually, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to do a shoelace like you, though. I'm just going to tie it. OK. Is that all right? Mm-hmm. OK, cool. We're going to take the Beautiful. string off at the end, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. OK, cool. So there you go. Don't need to worry about how fancy it gets, as long as it holds it together. And that's it, and that's what it does. It does the job, and that's all you need to do. OK, nice. Is that pan hot, Chef? Yeah, it's all ready to Thank go, you. Chef. Just waiting on you. I did a shoelace now. Look at that. OK, cool. There we go. <laughs> all right, pop it in. I'll keep an eye on that. Thank Beautiful. You. Look you at that. You keep an eye on that string and all. Oh, that masala sauce is looking fantastic, too. OK, really looking forward to trying this. It's going to be brilliant. Remember, if you make any of Mark's dishes, do let us know. Just upload a pic on the Facebook page. I'm just finishing the sauce over the top. Yeah. A little bit of basil, and there you go. Oh, nice work.